Are you thinking about moving or visiting the Idaho Falls area, but you're starting to think, what is there to do during the winter time? In this video, we're gonna talk about indoor activities and outdoor activities of things to do right here in town in Idaho Falls and in the surrounding areas. You ready? Let's go. Let's talk outdoor activities during the winter time right here in Idaho Falls. You may have guessed it, snow. If there's snow, what are we doing in the snow? So number one on my list is sledding. There are multiple places to go sledding, including in your own backyard if you live in a place like Kamora Loma in the hills or by the golf course. But there are some other free public areas to sled too, like Community Park, Freeman Park. I even saw a few people sledding at Toffus Park when there's a few hills in that area as well. Number two outdoor activity, ice skating. We have a few ice skating rinks here. The two most popular that I know of are at Toffus Park and another one on Memorial Drive, downtown Idaho Falls. Both of these depend on the temperature and the time of year, so you'll wanna check out the websites for more information. Number three, you could have guessed it, skiing and snowboarding. We do have a local ski resort here. It's not right in Idaho Falls, but it's just about a half hour away in Ryrie and it is called Kelly Canyon. We have all kinds of different skill levels there, different hill sizes. Uh, it is a smaller ski resort, but they're changing it and upgrading it every year, and it's a really great option if you're looking for some local skiing that's very close in the area. Number four, also owned by Kelly Canyon, is Gateway Parks. Gateway Parks is so cool. They just opened in 2024, which is this year that I'm recording this video, and it is a local uh, snow tubing hill and they have three or four hills, if I remember correctly, that you can pay for to, to tube. They um, have the tube rentals, and they also have hot chocolate and a fire pit and some goodies that you could enjoy, and it's right here in Idaho Falls. So if you're not wanting to travel 30 minutes up the canyon, you can enjoy a snow tubing hill literally right here in Idaho Falls. They also, the snow tubing is not free, but they also have free snowboarding and skiing at Gateway Parks. It's a very small area. It's just a small little hill on the side of the tubing hill. But what's so great about this is if you're thinking about skiing or snowboarding and you wanna freshen up on your skill level or learn for the first time, you can do that right here in town for free. If you're okay with traveling a little bit farther, about an hour and a half away is Grand Targhee Ski Resort. This is the ski resort that is world famous by the Tetons in Wyoming. If you go a little bit farther and you wanna to travel to Montana, about two and a half hours away is Big Sky. So not only do we have a local ski resort here, but we're just a short drive away from some world famous, very large ski resorts. There's also the ski resorts in Utah, which are just three hours away. So you have a lot of options here in Idaho. Balls. There is another snow tubing hill that's in Ryrie. So if you don't want to do it in town be because it's too popular or it's um, it's a little bit more expensive, there's a little bit more of an affordable option at 7N Ranch in Ryrie. You can snow tube there as well. They also offer sleigh rides and hot chocolate and they really try to create a whole experience there for you. Speaking of Ryrie, this is another outdoor activity just 20, 30 minutes away from Idaho Falls is the hot springs, high sea hot springs. They've got a very hot pool and then a very large swimming pool that stays warm year round. This is a great option if you wanna go outside, but stay warm and swim with the kiddos or even have a romantic getaway or by yourself and just heal in these wonderful hot springs. High sea hot springs is a, is a really great option. There's another popular hot springs location south of Pocatello. So it is about an hour to an hour and a half away from Idaho Falls, but Lava Hot Springs is also very popular in the wintertime and all year. But if you're looking for a warm swimming activity surrounded by deer and snow-capped mountains, Lava Hot Springs is a beautiful and very fun family-friendly option. If you're into fishing, you can fish year round here. There is ice fishing. You can go ice fishing right here at Ryder Park, which is the same location as the snow tubing hill for Gateway Parks. Or you could go to Henry's Lake or Ryrie Reservoir. Henry's Lake has world famous trout and Ryrie Reservoir has a lot of different fish as well. LaBelle Ice Castles. This is also near the Ryrie Rigby area and it is a really fun activity that you can only enjoy in the coldest months of the year. These are ice castles and caves that are made from from frozen water it's literally what it sounds like and they put lights in them and they have 
fire performances and you can meet and greet characters like Santa Claus or Elsa and lots of different characters for the kids. There's also sleigh rides and you can take fun pictures there. It's a really cool spot that's only a half hour away from Idaho Falls that you can only enjoy probably in January and February when it is the coldest. Otherwise, it will melt. So make sure you check out Lavelle Ice Castle's website so you know when they are open and how long they're open because it is very time sensitive or weather sensitive, I guess. Cross country skiing. This is another fun activity that I see all the time. A popular spot for cross country skiing is Freeman Park, Toffus Park, and of course, Kelly Canyon. Snowmobiling. This is another really fun activity that's very popular out here. In fact, they don't actually call it snowmobiling, they call it snow machining. So if you wanna fit in with the locals, make sure you call it snow machining, not snowmobiling. And places to go that are very popular, Island Park, which is north of here, about an hour or so. Mink Creek uh, near Pocatello and Ashton, Idaho. So not a lot of snowmobiling right here in Idaho Falls, but just a short drive on the outskirts of Idaho Falls. You can snowmobile in multiple locations, or I should say snow machine in lo multiple locations. Another event that's coming right here in February is Winter Brew. This happens right downtown. Outside, you can enjoy live music, good drinks, and games. They have large games that you can play right on the sidewalk as you enjoy these activities. It's a very fun activity, very affordable as well. And there are other fun activities that happen year round. These are just some that are popular and that are outside. So that's it for your outdoor activities. Let me move on to the indoor activities. And I'll mention that most of these indoor activities you can do year round. Snowboarding, skiing, ice fishing, that's not for everybody and I get that. So if you're thinking about moving to Idaho Falls or visiting Idaho Falls and you're not a snow person, what could you spend your time doing? Obviously, we've got movie theaters and restaurants and bowling. We also have an axe throwing location. There's a lot of fun businesses, escape rooms, things like that. But there's a few that I wanted to mention that I think would be worth your time if you come and visit Idaho Falls. The first one on my list is Open Mic Nights. Winnie and Moe's is a bookstore downtown and they often host Open Mic Nights on the first Wednesday of every month. So you could listen to slam poets or just regular poets, musicians or people give speeches or whatever it is, they come and present their information and you can enjoy as a spectator while enjoying a nice drink and a pastry that they have there in the bookstore as well. Comedy shows. We have a few options for comedy shows. We have the Mountain America Center, which is a very large venue where our hockey team plays, which I'll talk about later. We also have the Colonial Theater and the Civic Center, which is renamed the Frontier Center. There's a lot of different places that you can enjoy comedy and there are some big names that come through Idaho Falls and local comedians too. Next on the list is Spud Kings. Spud Kings is our local hockey team that we he have here in Idaho Falls. Spud Kings are new to Idaho Falls as of 2022 or 2023, and they play at the Mountain America Center right here in town. And the locals will come out and enjoy a good game in those winter months, so January, February, I believe even March, depending on how the season goes. So that is something that you can enjoy in the winter time that isn't all year. Next on my list is the Museum of Idaho. I've mentioned this in multiple videos, but the Museum of Idaho is beautiful, it is clean, and the exhibits are next to none here in Idaho. In fact, it's one of the biggest museums in Idaho. So Idaho Falls, even though it's a small town of 67,000 people or so, the Museum of Idaho is impressive. And we get world-renowned exhibits that you could see in larger cities like Salt Lake City, New York City, Denver. These are traveling exhibits that only come once. We also have the year-round exhibits that are, are evergreen, like the beautiful animals and taxidermy that they have display there, and other fun artifacts and resources of Idaho. But these exhibits are amazing you definitely need to check it out right now we're in february 2024 there's the under the canopy exhibit which is a live exhibit that you can see animals of the rainforest right here in the museum of idaho another thing you can enjoy indoors is plays and musicals we have the civic center and center stage center stage is a newer uh, community theater that we have here in idaho falls and the civic center is now renamed the Frontier Center, but it's a very large venue that you can 
can experience larger national performances. Like Shen Yun, that is a national touring Chinese performance. You may have seen commercials for it. It is beautiful. That's coming right here to our Frontier Center. And then they also have comedians and local musicals and plays and jazz. There's a lot going on, um, art exhibits as well. So both of those are indoors and you can enjoy year round. Maybe you're thinking you want a place to stay that is fun. There's a lot of different hotels here. There's Airbnbs that are booked constantly, but there's one that you may have not heard of and it's the Anniversary Inn. This is a themed hotel. So every room is its own country. So you could stay in Rome, Italy or Greece or Germany or China or Japan or Israel or Egypt. There's so, so many amazing rooms that are themed. In fact, you can take a tour on a Saturday uh, during the open tour times, which I believe is around one o'clock or just before one o'clock. And you can tour those for free and decide which room you want to stay in when you come and visit. Lastly, we have something new in town, and this is the, I think, fastest growing sport in the United States. I could be making that up. <laughs> I think I heard that somewhere. Pickleball. In pickleball, you normally play in outdoor courts, but we have an indoor building that just opened up last year, I believe in 2023, maybe 2022, and it's called Spitfire. There are multiple courts there that you can reserve. It's not very expensive. You can come with your friends, you can just show up to open playing times, and you can play pickleball all year. Stay away from the elements stay dry and and have fun there as well well that's it for all the things that there are to do in idaho falls during the winter time there's a lot of outdoor activities there's a lot of indoor activities and so don't let our small town fool you there's plenty of things to do and there's more i didn't mention i'm sure there's things i didn't think of so if you know of anything else please comment below or if you have any questions let me know and i'll be happy to look into it for you well, until next time, my name is Annika Wilder and I'm a local real estate agent and I would love to answer any questions you might have about the Eastern Idaho area. If you're thinking about making a move here, give me a call, shoot me a text or send me an email and I'll be happy to help. We'll see you soon, bye. If you're new to my channel and you wanna know all there is to know about life in Idaho Falls, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that notification bell and you'll be the first to know about things happening in Idaho Falls, neighborhood tours, real estate market, and things to do with kids and without kids, indoor and outdoor. I cover it all right here on the Life in Idaho Falls channel.